What's up guys? My name is Che. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So a few days ago, somebody asked me a question in the comment section on my previous video to say, when you record these vocals, it turns out that they are not in sync with the beat, even though when recording, it makes sure that it's on beat. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining what causes that delay when it comes to recording and what causes the vocal not to be in sync with the beat. So just stay tuned and let's get into it. This problem is something that almost every music producer at one time has encountered. It is a normal thing and it's normal to happen because this problem is caused by what is called latency. And latency is just the time it takes for your vocal to pass through the microphone and come to your DAW. When designing these hardwares and the, the DAWs like this, they come up with drivers that have been given a certain value to cover for that latency time so that whenever you record, it comes as if it's just straight in here. So what causes the delay is the driver. So for example, if you're using uh, a certain audio interface, like in my case, I'm using the Focusrite Solo, and then I end up using a different driver. It won't be in connection with my Focusrite, therefore, uh, the delay compensation that, that is in my focus right and the one that is in the driver that I'm using right now are not going to match. Therefore, I'm going to get uh, the delay. The most important thing to do is make sure you use the exact driver for your interface because that is what is meant for your interface and that's what covers for that delay. If you go up just in your Cubase, you won't see it on my screen. So uh, if you go way up, you'll find that you have these things like uh, studio, workspace, window, and so on. So you click on studio. For Cubase 5, it's written devices. So you click on devices, then just scroll down to studio setup. Cubase 5, it's device setup. So just click on that. It will bring you to this window right here. So sometimes it can be here. So you just make sure you click on VST audio system. When you come to this point now, this is where you have your driver. When you look at these values here, there's input latency and output latency. You discover that uh, they've got these values here. So I've selected this driver because I want to demonstrate in a short while what happens. Right now I'm using a focus right solo and then I select this driver here. Then this means I'm going to have a delay because this is not the the driver that is built for my focus right. So if I use this other driver, it would delay. And then if I click on this, you'll see that I have these other drivers. There's even a driver for my focus right. So I need to select this driver for me to be in sync with the beat when I record. So basically, this is where you select the correct driver for your system. But before I select the focus right, I want us to record under this same driver so that you see the delay. And then when I change, you will see that it goes back. And then also I'm going to show you maybe in a situation where, for example, you select the same driver, but it still delays. So I'm going to show you a trick that you can use by using this record shift samples. So putting some numbers here, you can shift where the record starts once you start singing. So I'll try and show you this after I demonstrate. I've come up with a fake song that I'm going to sing so that you see and I've put a lot of auto-tune so that you don't laugh at my vocal. Alright, so let's just record some vocal. Alright, so I've recorded something here and you'll notice that this vocal will not be in sync with the beat. So let's just play to confirm this. A body proper, one of a kind that she flying a chopper up in the sky. Baby, come, Nico, girl, let me come for you. Baby, you would come for me. Baby, come, give me love, come, give me love. Come, give me love, come. Okay, so I'm sure you, uh, you can now tell that this is not in sync with the beat. So I'm going to record another one on top here. But now I'm going to change the driver and match it with that of my focus right which is uh, 
this one here switch okay so i'll just mute this and let me do another take a body proper one of a kind she flying a chopper up in the sky baby come little girl let me come for you if you were me baby you would come for you baby come give me love come give me love come give me love come give me love okay so i've recorded another vocal and now this one should be in sync let's listen to it you read a body proper, one of a kind that she flying a chopper up in the sky. Baby, come, little girl, let me come for you. If you were me, baby, you would come for you. Baby, come, give me love, come, give me love. Come, give me love, come, give me love. Okay, let's listen to the one that's not in sync. A body proper, one of a kind that she flying a chopper up in Okay. A body proper, one of a kind that she flying a chopper up in the sky. Baby, come, little girl, let me come for you. If you were me, baby, you would come for you. So basically, this is how you solve this problem. But again, you can use another method. You can go to this range selection too, and then select from the beginning of this, this vocal. To where this other one starts the one that's delayed so we can find the distance between this which is 299 and then we can multiply it by a hundred so this would be two nine nine zero zero so let's enter this value go to studio studio setup then make sure we set this driver that is delaying and then let's enter this value here so it's uh two nine nine then multiplied by 100 which is two zeros there then let's just apply and okay so let's see if this will solve the problem so let's just record under this same one that is delaying all right so if you look at this this one has gone way more than this so the value that we had put has just pushed this vocal that's below here to the front so the way to find this is you can just try and experiment with values you can come here and just try so if you look at this it has come this side a bit so meaning let's reduce this value so let's try and say 20,000 so you can see from here that it's now closed so this method is kind of hectic because we don't really know the exact value the value that we got here wasn't the exact value so if somebody knows how to do this method and just get the, the exact value on top here please let us know in the comment section below Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Also, feel free to comment in the comment section below and share your views. Also, follow me on Instagram at jthemg and let's interact from there. My name is Jay. See you in my next video. And I'm out.